Boy, it hot, boy. It's warm out here. You feel me? About 95 degrees in the A. Yeah, you talking about? Woo! It's a hot one. I just got off work, man. I just got off work. Truck driver shawty. I'm done for the week. Happy Friday to y'all, man. Happy Friday. I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. I really do. Today, as you can see, I got the primes on. Today is the official drop. Speaking of, speaking of the primes of the DT Max Dion things, man. You feel me? They can't. This is the official day. Even though we done had like three drops of this shoe already, like boutiques. Like first Nike dropped them super limited. And then Nike did. Didn't Nike do like a little shop drop or something too? And then um, I know the boutiques got them. The neighborhood stores and stuff got them. Some of them did. Not all of them. On the limited release. And today is the official release. They're supposed to be dropped like a general release today. Now, is it a general release? I know I've seen online Foot Locker, DTLR, places like that. So that's why I'm at the mall. I don't know if I'm going to buy them. If I see them in there, I don't know if I'm going to buy them, Shouty. It's, it's pressure. It's pressure. It's pressure, man. Because I want them. I like them. Lord of Dion's, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, with the whole um, Coach Prime thing, you know what I'm saying? He done kind of reinvigorated um, his his situation. You know what I'm saying? He done kind of reinvented himself. You know what I'm saying? He he went, he was in the NFL Network for a long time. He was ball-headed, and he was we had the suits on and stuff like that, and that was his drip for a minute. But now he's back in the coaching seat and getting the recruits and all that stuff. And um, he coached Prime. Now he coached Prime. You know what I'm saying? It was just Deion signed a prime time for, you know what I'm saying? And then now he coached Prime. So it's um, you know, it's it's a little that's a little extra. I mean, I, you can call it hype or whatever you want to call it, but it's a little, a little extra added incentive, even though the shoe is retro and I liked it back in the '90s when it actually came out in '96. It's a little bit extra added something. Cause you know, I miss a prime. You know what I'm saying? I, I support that guy. You see, I got the primes on. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got to make it. Might have to get the kicks to, to drip with the primes. I don't know. Anyway, hope y'all doing good today, man. I want to see what else, what else would be probably sitting around in the mall. Cause everything is sitting nowadays. You know what I'm saying? It's plethora of things to actually vlog in mall vlogs. And um, that's it, man. I don't want to go out in the hot sun. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Somebody help me, Lord. Well, hot, boy. It's hot to trot out here. You <laughs> the boy say hot to trot. It's hot to trot out there, guys. Right? You had to take it back to the, the, the hot to trot came from the '80s, didn't it? God damn, boy. <laughs> yeah, the hell out here. Um, steaming. You can feel the, the heat coming from. The, 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 the pavement, you feel me? Um, I ain't showing nothing on feet today, man, because it's, it's just some some Nike boot beaters, work shoes. Like, you don't need these, the prime drip, on, uh, the sunglasses don't even look right. I just got on like some dusty all black on, but it's all good because I got to keep that, um, got to keep that out my eyes, man. That sun, man, it's beaming. Anyway, how y'all feeling today, man? Let's go ahead and go into this mall and see if they got these primes and see what else they got. Um, y'all think the primes gonna be sitting? I think it's crazy because I seen them on multiple websites kind of sizes popping back up but when i see them on foot Locker, i was like it might be a chance i can go get me a mall vlog in and see what they got going on so anyway let's do it so dtlr would be our first uh store on the menu today ladies and gentlemen uh bruh yeah i would suggest that y'all go and get some of these sales because everything the, the the season of the sales has started bro if you want to catch some kicks for back to school for your kids and stuff like that bro this is the time they actually got the nines on sale bro this shoe like slick did a little sellout but 210 was a little steep bro so the 159 is more it, it's more like it Honestly, that's what these shoes should be retailing as, but you know, as with inflation and all this crazy junk, stuff gonna go up and joints go up anyway. You feel me? Bro, these six is a slick buttery, man. I know I showed them in the lab vlog, but bro, they this leather slick buttery, bro. Mm -hmm. But this probably one of the ones that's gonna go on sale too. I don't know. Y'all comment if y'all still mess with the sixes. They got like 25% off almost every shoe over here, bro. So even the Air Jordan Nathaniels are on sale, boy. Get you some. Man, they got like two kinds of purples, bro. With the dunks. Okay, that look like blue, though. Yeah, that like blue. And this one look like a fuchsia or something. I don't know. Yeah, man, so DTLR did have the Deons. Um, I ain't get to check to see what size they got. It was like a bunch of people in there. And it was like, 
people like the manager and stuff they were standing all around the shoe like they had the shoe on the front register i might go back if nobody else don't have them but they were just like standing all around the shoe it was a whole bunch of people awkwardly awkwardly standing around in the store i don't know it just gave me a a a, a bad energy and it was weird because i usually don't catch energies like that enough but i don't know anyway foot locker something's telling me foot locker ain't gonna have these man some tell me they ain't gonna have them so Foot Locker didn't have them. What they did have was some loud ass music. So I ain't vlogging there. But uh, nine times out of 10 Foot Locker didn't have them. Champs won't either. It's looking like a big no in Champs so far. But then again, my Foot Locker don't get a whole lot of stuff anyway. So I'm gonna go to JD Sports and, and Snipes. Snipes get everything. So Snipes probably got them. Big sizes, I don't know about big sizes, but they probably got them. The shoe dropped this morning. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon now. so. I don't know, it might be a sellout. I just noticed this Georgetown mid right here. A Georgetown mid game. Look how big the wing logo is on the mids, bro. Either it's bigger or it just take up more space because it's a mid, I don't know. But, um, you know, this would have came out in a high like three or four years ago with that Georgetown swag. Probably would have been something. Probably would have been, been something behind them. Something tell me that uh, JD Sports ain't going to have them either. Nope, but they running these Oreo sixes into the ground, boy. That's for sure. So, this must have been like a heavy online release. Because so far, DTLR is the only store in this whole mall that I've seen actually have the shoe in store. And I didn't check the sizes down there. Um, they had like a size 8 or 9 or something on display. So, uh, you know my big sizes go first, so... Who knows? Like I said, this might be fate making a decision for me again. You feel me? Resale for this shoe is still like 220 something before fees um, in my size. So I definitely won't be getting a resale. Like I said, if, if I get a shoe like that, it'll be retail only, bro. You know what I'm saying? Got a little, little sneak peek of what's dropping tomorrow, Shardin. Oof. I did not know the box looked like this, boy. The, the, I think the paint on the shoe gonna look like this, too. And you probably got early reviews from other people, but this is my first time seeing these in hand, boy. Woo, dropping tomorrow, shout it. Woo, the Air Jordan with the, with the oxidized green. Woo. All right, let's check them out. Okay, okay. So that's exactly what it is. The paint on the inside. It looked like a, almost like a hunter green a little bit. And the oxidized green Air Jordan 4s, bro. Like I said in my video yesterday, they do look like, um, they do look like, the Jordan 4 Legend Blues that came out like in 2015. Oh, look at that paint though. Candy coated paint job. Got the got the vintage and the white on the midsole, which I think looks good on this shoe. I think that I wish, I wish they would have hit the vintage somewhere else though, but it got the leather, good buttery leather, kind of reminiscent of like I said, I wanted to say uh reimagined for us that came out earlier, but these like even with this kind of like jewel jump man on the back these are exactly like the legend blue uh columbia fours that came out a few years ago bro oh a lot of years ago almost 10 years ago now got the flight be hard bro i like them yeah i like them i don't know i might not uh, i don't know i catch them on swoosh or something like that maybe but this is a dope shoe i ain't mad at nobody who caught it then is that the green behind her that's the green behind them netting too Got a candy paint on the waffles too. How much do you retail for? Two fifteen. Got the green on the inside. This look like a luxury shoe. Like if y'all know about the Legend Blues that dropped a few years ago, like very very similar in quality. In, uh, quality. These hard man. These like these damn there. These like at least a nine out of ten man on the rating scale, bro. Oh, and, and the vintage do go out through the midsole on the inside too. I'm trying to get it under this light, but it's candy paint. Candy paint job. Candy paint job on these hoes, man. Anyway, since I ain't see the Dion's, man, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about these Air Jordan 4 oxidized green guys, man. Yes, sir, ski. So, they had 11 and a half. My boy Chad. Uh, gonna buy the last 11 and a half. <laughs> What's up, Chad? Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. <laughs> and I, too, am a part of the rich. Community. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she said the size 12 is out of here. So that's the last 11 and a half. They don't have my size. Like I said, I just let fate decide when I get a shoe in that. And I won't be getting these, not for retail today. And LVRG, I could have got them from there, but they completely sold. 
AVRG, they completely sold out of big yeah. size. I just hit them up. So. so you win some, you lose some. Chad won, but you know what? You know what's crazy? I just was, I came in here about an hour ago, bro. Yeah. And I ain't checked because I was like, the other stores going to have them. They dropped it. They, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, no, no. So I, I don't know when she saw that 12, but she sounded like she holding the pebble. She probably holding it to somebody. Yeah, they just yeah. out of the box. She right. said that, Joe. Oh, they just put them out of the box? Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm about to get a hell. I'm about to get a cut. I'm about to get a hell cut, man. And, um, but my boy Chad, he just told me, huh? Put it on the vlog. Put it on the vlog. <laughs> Chad, my boy Chad just told me that they bust, they always busting windows out here. And they, they had broken my son's car out here about a year ago. And um, on this side of the mall where we park at. So I'm finna go check my car, man, cause can't have nothing. Cause these, these youngins broke as hell and they can't do nothing else better but take somebody else's stuff, so. Check my wheel, huh? They got another one? Oh, you said parking, yeah, okay. You telling me to move my car and park closer cause it's a spot up there. They ain't got me so far, let me move. So my boy say, I'm gonna I'm go back there and look. I'm not gonna go too close to it because I don't want nobody to say I did it. But he, he said this Honda, this white Honda, the one that got the window busted out. Damn, and they damn sure got it too. Wow. This person gonna be mad as hell when they come out here, boy. Damn. You can't have nothing, bro. What 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 did they think was in this car? Like for real, what did they think was in that car, bro? From the beer. Like, I would have looked at that Honda and be like, wait, well, ain't. I guess because 10 on the way, I have no idea, boy. Atlanta, boy. <sighs> so I parked I park right here in the front by the entrance, man. I'm finna just go ahead and get my cut, and I'm finna roll out. Yeah, man. So in the long run, if you haven't guessed, I'm back at, I'm back at my house. <laughs> in the long run, shouty, I think I really didn't want to, I ain't gonna say I didn't want to shoot. I think I was trying to find an excuse. Uh, put it this way. If everything fell into place and it was easy to get the sneaker, I probably would have bought it. But if it put up any kind of fight, it was just like, you know what? I'm just going to, like I said, I keep on saying, I'm going to let fate decide whether I cop these or not because I'm, I just want the diamond turf. The OG first silhouette uh, Nike trainer Dion diamond turfs. That's supposed to drop next year. Hopefully we get those black and purple ones because I've been wanting those forever. And if I want this one, I can still get it. I mean, I heard from a few sources of my sources that they are sending that Cumberland Mall. Remember the mall I did? If y'all watched the mall vlog I did last time, Cumberland Mall, I said the best sneaker mall in Atlanta. They had pairs sitting in like three stores from what I'm hearing. They all they all over that, that mall. So if I really want them for retail, I can go get them for retail. But at the end of the day, and I could even hit LVRG up. They had them early this morning. I could have got them. But um, I feel like I don't want to fight for that shoe like that because I feel like I'm not gonna wear it like that. I just I like the fact that it just kind of fit the whole prime with the gold. But the ones the, the diamond turfs they got the gold on them too. I just have to wait to next year to get those. These right here, I think I'm I think I'm finally gonna give up on those. But those fours, a shoe that I didn't have on my radar at all, them fours hard, bro. I'm st I don't I still don't think I'm gonna get them, but them four is hard, and that green, whew, that green is candy paint. Um, a lot of people in the comments be telling me to look at the um, look right here instead of right here. Why I be looking? I be looking over here at the monitor. The reason I look at the monitor is because I'm shell shocked, and um, this is just to answer some people's questions because I've been doing that ever since I've been on YouTube. I'm shell shocked from this camera. The camera that I'm on currently has really good focus. But this camera's focus was so trash that I always had to look at the side monitor. I always had to look at the side monitor to make sure I was in focus in the frame. Because it used to be times when I was looking at the um, lens and I go to edit the video afterwards and I'm like, it's like five minutes of the video. I'm not in focus, but my background is in focus. So I'm not used to having the luxury of a camera that has really good focus. I do now. But I'm so used to looking at the monitor and making sure I'm in focus. I'm not checking myself out. People be thinking I'm that vain that I'm just looking at myself and making sure I'm good. Even though I am pretty, though. I am pretty. He you talking about. Uh, 2024, you probably, can't even, you, can't, you probably can't even say that no more. That's, that's the old Muhammad Ali. I'm so pretty. You probably can't even say that no more because people are going to take it as something else. Everything you say is 
people can turn it to something else now. But anyway, I digress. Just used to looking in the monitor. I know it might be jarring or distracting for some people that I'm not looking. At, I'm looking at the lens now, but I'm not always looking at the lens. Y'all want me to look into your eyes? I'm looking right at y'all now directly. How does it feel? It got to be a little uncomfortable. It got to be. I'm going to keep looking at myself right here. Uh, anyway, um, so that leads me. That green color was fire. That leads me to my pickup that I pre-ordered from PacSun, a.k.a. Pacific Sun Wear. Um, they dropped the pre-orders on this shirt. And I wish I can find, because I saw a DM, and I, I just, I'm really bad. With, hey, let me just, let me say something real quick. To the people who text my phone and I don't respond, or the people who DM me and I don't respond, it's nothing personal, bro. I be busy. I be having a lot going on, and I and I'm the biggest. I'm, I, I will say this is one of my biggest faults. I'm so bad at getting back with people. And it's not because I don't care. I don't want to. It's just a it's a bad habit. I just have a bad habit of forgetting to get back to people. So I apologize to all the people who I don't get back to. I wish I can find this dude because he sent me a uh, um he actually sent me the, the 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 link to this and I know I ain't gonna be able to find it because my DMs had I have plethoras upon plethoras of DMs. One hour later. Oh, I found him. And I, I found him. And that's why I can't see it because I never accepted the freaking DM. So um he sent me this DM for this shirt. I'm accepting his dm now and i'm gonna follow him you got zero posts bro i want to follow you i'm gonna follow you back you got zero posts man you gotta i don't follow nobody who i can't see what they got going on man you know what i'm saying but uh put up a post my boy his name is uh n zero underscore x q s e s that's all i know vincent michael is his name so shout out to vincent michael for sending me the link on this shirt he knows i'm an at alien and this shirt See, it's a, it's, it's, it's a uh, segue. That green color on them fours is going to lead into this package. And this package is going to lead into my featured shoe of the video. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, my God. I got a 2X, which is the same size of this 8-9 shirt I got on now. So, it may be a fit like this. I don't know. But, speaking of the green. Speaking of the green, shouty. You feel me? ATL Shouty, your boy Mike Rich. This shirt is made by Heritage, it says. Heritage, um, kind of got it. It says Art and Design of the Olympic Games. So this is actually made by the official shop of the Olympic Games. That's good to know because it is, and it was $38, and it is a 1996 Atlanta Olympic shirt. The 1996, and this green is like the main colorway. Or the color of that of those 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games, man. And I did not know that it had this on the back. I'm going to have to show two feature shoes now. Because I did not know it had the... Those colors are the colors of the Olympic rings. And those are the official colors, as you can see right here. The fire on top of the... Uh, with a, with a, you know, the, the, the torch... 1996 Atlanta. Those are the official colors of the Atlanta Olympics. Let me go and get the second feature shoe. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show, and I wish I can remember the person who sent me this. I wish I can remember. This is original, official merch from the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Sports Illustrated duffel, bro. And you can tell it's old, too. It's, kinda, it's, it's not used that bad, but it's, it's an old bag. It's 1996. This bag's like 30 years old, you know what I'm saying? But the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, this is official vintage merch from back then. And somebody sent me this as a gift years ago on this channel. I can't remember the guy's name, but I, 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 I travel with that bag. So that leads me into the two featured shoes. We're going to go on ahead and throw the shirt over the, over the shoulder right there. First, and y'all, most of y'all who've been following me for a long time, you know what these two shoes are going to be. First off, thing that came to mind is the uh, Nike Air Up Tempo. I hate Air Up Tempos. I hate them. I hate these. I hate these shoes. But I'm from Atlanta. They ATL. And regardless of my hate for the shoe, it was very well executed with the Atlanta Olympic colors, man. 
It was very well executed. Plus, I mean, I did a whole video about this before I had got this shoe. They hit you with so much ATL on this shoe. You got the Georgia State Peach. You got the 404 original Atlanta area code, which I still have on my phone number to this day. Um, I've always had 404 area code. I might have had 678 one time. But ATL stompers, as I call them. ATL stomp things that I barely wear. Maybe this shirt will make me kind of pull these things out more. And a shoe that I wore more recently, which is one of my favorite shoes in my collection that resells for crazy amounts of money, is the SE Trainer Bo Jackson 1996 Atlanta Olympics. This shoe was actually based on the Olympics, so that's why I had to go grab it. The other the Atlanta shoe, the other Atlanta shoe, it goes good with the colors, but this shoe actually represents uh, the Olympics because you see those colors on the bottom. Same colors that's on the on the uh, flame right here. Same colors that's on the back of the shirt. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So we vibing with the Atlanta Olympic swag drip dripping ton St. Dripping Stein happening. You feel me? Anyway, as I showed all of my Atlanta paraphernalia and my featured shoes, y'all come below and tell me what y'all thought of this video. From my, per my from the way I talked about the primes in this video, the DT uh, Maxes, do y'all think I should go through further links to try to get that shoe? Or do you think I really don't want it like that? I should just wait for the next one. That's what I'm thinking. But sometimes I need people on the outside looking in and be like, Rich, and you actually people who know from following and watching my channel, my personality, what y'all think I'm thinking? What y'all think I'm going to do? Comment below and let me know. As always, everything that I say is cool, but I really appreciate the comments that y'all will leave below in the comment section, man. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that um, engagement, commenting, subscribing, liking the videos. We don't just say this junk just to say it. It's, it's the engagement. This is why I do it so I can hear what y'all got to say. Comment below and tell me what y'all think of this video. Anything that you like, dislike, thought was cool, thought was trash. Especially, I forgot to mention again, the person with their car getting broke into. I think my boy uh, my boy Chad heard the glass break or something like that. He said, yeah, they're getting somebody. Because they always breaking on cars on that side of the mall right there. But right Because I go right in. I always park right there because DTLR is right there. And then my barbershop where I get my hair cut is right there. So I always park right there. But them young Got them young. I want to say something else, but this is, I, I know kids be watching my videos. People who ain't got nothing else better than do but take something else, somebody else, something that somebody else works for is just utterly stupid, ridiculous, and y'all ain't. I'll have zero respect for somebody who steal from somebody else. That's just that's just me, bro. Um, and I'm sure a lot of y'all probably agree. So I, I, I don't bust people window, and they do it all the time. And he got a Hellcat. Remember, I don't know if y'all that last video but I was talking to him, and he he had a Hellcat in the background. He um he so he 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 had the security. He always tell the security guy, security be sitting right there and they still be busting the windows, bro. They'll pick a car that's kind of out of the sight of the security and they'll bust the windows and break a people's car, bro. So he was like, before he went in the mall, he was like, hey man, just keep an eye on that Hellcat. He parked over there by the security, which was smart. You know what I'm saying? I ended up moving my car all the way on the other side of the mall before I went and got my hair cut because I didn't want to be sitting there the whole time worried about that. You feel me? Um, but that's it, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my videos because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> money what up, Mike? Hey, we was up before, bro. Now we up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch me go scoop as a dara. Check out my kiss in a para. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, El Capitan, they calling me jet like I'm sparrow. Straight up. East Atlanta in my blood. The streets got me twin like Tia Tamara, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stay blessed. I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people you did, they singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the berry, yeah. I can't really help it, bro. They know that I'm the ish, yeah. Catch me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci, Gucci, bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10. I don't miss rich.
When I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10. I don't miss rich.